How grateful are you? Do you think about gratitude ever? Today I'm going to talk about gratitude and you may be wondering why. There's a lot of research to support that grateful people really reap the benefits. So let me share a few of those statistics. First, people who have positive emotions live seven years longer than those who don't. On average, people who practice, who have a gratitude practice, actually their income is 7% higher than people who don't. They have a 10% less likelihood to get sick and their blood pressure is 12% lower than people who don't have a gratitude practice. So I really want to support you, not only because I personally love gratitude and we're coming close to Thanksgiving, so it's the season of paying attention to being grateful, but also just to help you have deeper meaning and purpose and joy in your life. Gratitude is one of the things that does that. So in order to begin to build gratitude into your life, you have to start looking for some ways to do that. I always recommend that you have it stack, which means take something you're already doing and add gratitude in. So for example, uh, at dinner, you could sit down with your family and after a prayer or instead of a prayer, have everyone name one thing they were grateful for that day. You're already having dinner, so we're adding in the gratitude as an extra thing. At your team meeting, you could go around the room and have four people call out someone on the team who helped them and say thank you. You're already having the team meeting, so we're inserting gratitude as an extra thing. So in that way, when we do that, we create new habits for ourselves. In my own personal life, for eight years, I have been using the five minute journal and I've switched to the five minute journal app probably about seven years ago. And I do it every day, morning and night, when I brush my teeth. Need more convincing? More than live longer, feel better, and make more money? Okay, I have another one for you. When you practice gratitude, it actually changes your brain. The biggest, the best way that researchers found to do this that had the longest lasting effect was to hand deliver personally a thank you note to someone who you haven't thanked properly for something you're truly grateful for. So when they did this, not only did the recipient feel valued and appreciated, and it improved relationships between you and that individual, but for the writer of the thank you note, it improved your brain chemistry for over a month. Really, really a beautiful reason to practice gratitude. When you write your letter and when you start practicing saying thank you, remember to be specific. Don't say, that was a great meeting. Instead, be specific. That was a fantastic meeting. You had an agenda, it was well thought out, we ended on time, and you called people out on what they didn't get done. Or if it's a spouse to say, don't say, thanks hon, love ya. Instead, be specific. Thank you, sweetheart. I love that you got up early today and that you had my coffee ready for me. And I appreciate that. You do it for me all the time. Thank you. So moving to the specific helps people feel truly seen and valued. So if you're going to write the thank you note, make sure you put in the specifics. So here's your gratitude challenge for the week. First, start being grateful. Notice what you're grateful for. Second, see if you can incorporate it by habit stacking this into your day and creating the conditions so that you think about being grateful more often. Next, I'm going to encourage you to not just take the easy gratitudes. So not just I'm thankful for a job or for my children, but get specific. See if you can be grateful for things you take for granted. Google someone who just saw color for the first time or just had a cochlear implant so they've heard sound for the first time 
and that will help inspire you to be grateful for the things that we take for granted. Go a level deeper and practice gratitude for your challenges. I have a personal theory that every challenge that we're presented with is a learning moment. It's a moment where we are invited to stretch and grow and learn. I always work to say thank you for the challenges in my life because I know it's leading me to the next level of who I can be. Will you take it on? If you do, let me know. What are you grateful for? Who did you give a letter to? What did you say? How did it change how you feel about your life? Let me know. I'm super curious. <laughs>